I get it. I think the most complicated thing for any new wig wearer is to glue down their wig. If you can't glue down your wig, then you can't have a flawless wig install. So today's wig is a beautiful everyday bob that I feel like is perfect for the person who just can't get their wig correct. You just can't get it right. But when you do, after watching today's video, you're going to be absolutely flawless. So let's jump right in. super excited about today's style we are working with a beautiful bob which is perfect for the everyday wear so the biggest mistake i feel like a lot of wig wearers who don't have experience do is jump right in and create a glue install so today's wig install is going to be completely glueless now this wig is absolutely gorgeous it keeps the brown color but it has these beautiful highlights and it's the perfect length so so if it's 100 degrees where you stay this wig won't even feel like you're wearing a wig so let's go ahead and pop it on and i'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to apply this wig without glue Now, I just went on and plopped the wig on my head. I made sure my hair is as flat as possible under the wig. You want to make sure your natural edges are pushed out of the way. But this is what the hairline looks like straight out the box. So it has this beautiful um, taper to it where it looks very natural. You can pull it further down if you need to. Now, one thing about the hairlines is that with the thinner hairlines, you can definitely bring it down a little bit further without it looking like thick and unnatural. So I'm going to get rid of the extra lace that's around the ear area because you need this area to lay flats and you need the wig to not sit on your ears. Believe it or not, I've had people who put the wig on and they actually leave that area and it's just be sitting on their ears. We don't want that. Don't sit the wig on your ears. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is use the adjustable straps that's in the back and I'm going to tighten them as snug as possible because with a glueless install you want your wig to fit snug and these help okay so use them it's very important that the lace at the front of your forehead is flat and not sticking up or anything like that so once you have the ear area fitted to fit comfortable and the wig is no longer pressing on that ear now you can move on to the install mm -hmm. So as you can see already, the wig looks very natural. It's laying flat and I have not added any glue. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and figure out exactly where I want my hairline to fall. This is very important. Find and look in that mirror and see where the hairline looks the most natural when you place your wig. Once you have done that, we're going to grab some scissors. Now I was trying out these scissors. They're like a comb type of scissor. I didn't like it, so don't use it. If you want to get that zigzag line, um, I will link some scissors below in the description box that's better for you guys to use when cutting the lace. Now I would recommend not cutting the lace straight across, but to use like a zigzag motion so that it can lay more flat and natural instead of looking like you just have a line going across your forehead. Now, right now at this point, if your wig is on your head and it does not look as natural as mine does then that means your hair underneath is not flat enough your edges are not pushed back enough so make sure you evaluate even if you were to use glue before you get to the glue step you, you should always evaluate on what your wig is looking like before you glue it down all right setting your parting is everything i like to do the side part i feel like it looks better for me so i'm just going to take my hot comb and open up that parting now if you don't want a parting you don't have to wear one either this wig you can part anywhere you want to it's a six inch parting um all the way on the front of that lace so as you can see it looks good okay and i love the curls on this wig now I'm going to grab my hair mousse and apply this all over the hair. And the purpose of the hair mousse is to help lay down that hairline, lay down that lace. Because you're not gluing it down, you will get the size that will lift. So you want to add the hair mousse. Um, that way you can have something there to hold. Now this right here is like a mini flat iron. If you want to create edges, baby hairs, or just anything around the hairline to make it look natural, use this. A lot of people show you um, their technique on creating edges 
and they just use hair mousse. But I'm going to tell you now, if you want your edges to swoop naturally, you need this little bitty flat iron. It's very important. I know because if I don't use it, my edges just look like I kind of laid them down and it don't look natural. So what I'm doing is taking this and curling it backwards, like creating a spiral curl. I don't recommend doing this after you put the hair mousse. I don't know why I put the hair mousse first, but do this on dry hair. Um, so that way the edges won't be so crunchy. Now I'm going to take a razor comb and razor the hair shorter around this area. I would recommend using the razor comb because it's going to give that more uh, feather taper type of look. And then I'm going to take a little bit of hair mousse and just swoop the hair. Now, yes, this will create intense baby hairs. However, once the hair is dry, you can brush it back and you'll see this later on in the video. You can brush it back and create a softer, natural look with this. Um, so keep that in mind. And this will also hide the lace. If your lace just is not melting the way you want it to onto your forehead, this is a better way to do it also, you'll see. So I'm just tying it down with a sleigh band, letting that sit for about 15 minutes um, so that it can dry completely. Matter of fact, 15 minutes is only if you're going to use a dryer for that long. Let this dry completely before you remove the sleigh band. All these products and this wig will be linked below. Now I'm just going to go down that parting with a little bit of foundation powder. If you bleach the knots on your wig, you don't need to do that. But since I did not, I'm going to cover up those knots with some foundation. All right, so this is the part where you start to play with your wig. You start to see what's wrong, what you don't like, what you do like, and fix it. So for me right now, I noticed the hair is flat on my head and I need to make it flow a bit more natural. So I'm taking my hot comb and I'm pushing the hairline where I need it to go. So I feel like when your wig is on, it is like a wig, okay? So you have to kind of take it and move the hair on how you feel a natural hair flow will go. And for me, when it comes to like this side that I'm using now, I feel like it will be pushed back a little bit. The edges won't be so intense. And then at the forehead area, I feel like the hair will be lifted. Um, and doing it that way, I find it looks the most natural. So it's just about finding technique. You can't expect the wig to do the work, okay? You have to do something. And that's why I said it's important if you are frustrated to not use glue when you don't have skills, okay? You wanna develop your skills in laying your wig naturally without glue before you add the glue, if that makes sense. And I know it's the glue that you, you all are struggling with because I have had that problem in the past. I've been styling wigs for over, oh, 10 years or more, maybe way more than that. And I know what you are going through. So as you can see, I took the hairline. I pushed some of those hairs back, the baby hair, so that they can look more thin and natural. Um, so it's just about finding what works for you. Um, if you wanted to, you could just push that completely back. But I love this style. It is so gorgeous. It's not too hot. And it's absolutely beautiful in color. And it's just an all around everyday beautiful wig. So again, this wig will be linked below in the description box. I'll put a discount code down there. Make sure you guys thumbs up the video, share this video and also subscribe if you are new to my channel. And I appreciate you guys so very much. So the end result for this wig is absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, I paired it with a nice outfit. I wanted to show you guys how this wig looks, just not on my head, but just in general, if I was to wear it out. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Thank you again for watching.